brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike Green. I'm one of the owners of 1A Auto. I want to help you save time and money repairing and maintaining your vehicle. I'm going to use my 20 plus years experience restoring and repairing cars and trucks like this to show you the correct way to install parts from 1AAuto.com. The right parts installed correctly. That's going to save you time and money. Thank you and enjoy the video. In this video, we're going to show you how to replace the radiator bottle on this 97 Cadillac DeVille, same as a 96 to 99 DeVille with the uh, North Star V8 engine. Uh, these bottles can get cracked just from use, and expansion and contraction, and also small accidents. Only basic tools are needed, 8, 10, and 13 millimeter sockets with ratchet and extension, and then short and regular flat blade screwdrivers. First step, you're going to remove your battery. To do that, you lift up on this headlight access panel, and then there's five 13 millimeter bolts to remove. Yeah. You can see my car is actually missing one here. Now you want to disconnect your battery. Normally these are 8 millimeter bolts, uh, but mine's been changed. I'm going to start with a negative cable here. And we'll just kind of hit a little fast forward here. Uh, disconnect the neg negative cable and then disconnect the positive cable. Okay, now use a ratchet, a long extension, and a 13 millimeter socket, and there's a mounting bolt down in the center of the battery. Okay, there's the bolt, and there's a rubber mount in there as well. Next, flat blade screwdriver, loosen this clamp. And twist and pull this hose off. Okay. Put that up like that so it doesn't drip. Now there's three bolts to remove, eight millimeter, an eight millimeter way down here, and then a 10 millimeter here. Okay, fast forward as I remove that first eight millimeter bolt and then the 10 millimeter bolt. Okay, once you get uh, the uh, 10 millimeter bolt out, then there's a bracket that goes around the AC evaporator there, kind of like a little half moon bracket pull it out towards the engine and then out away from the bottle and you can see it in a second when I pull it out. Okay, fast forward again here as I pull out that lower 8 millimeter bolt. Okay, now your bottle is pretty much dismounted. You still have a lead down here and then also up in here you can see that clamp the clamp right there you need to remove that hose clamp and before you do that make sure you put a catch basin under your vehicle okay so i'm using an eight millimeter socket with my ratchet to loosen up this hose clamp
Okay, and now I go in there with a short flat blade screwdriver. Loosen that up and I'll pull this hose off. And as I'm pulling it, I can feel some fluid coming out. And once it comes off, quite a bit of fluid's going to come out. Make sure it's catching most of it. Disconnect my lead, and there's my bottle out. Here's the new bottle from Morning Auto. Now, on this vehicle, uh, my original bottle is actually fine, no cracks or anything like that, so I am going to reinstall it. I'm not one to waste a, a part on a car that doesn't need it, so uh, but I want to show you uh, everything about the one from Morning Auto is the same. It's got brass inserts uh, into these so they don't, they're reinforced um, and everything's going to go together just the same, has a sensor and everything. Okay, so you would want to obviously switch over your, um, your radiator cap and the notice and everything if you, if you like. And then let's reinstall. So back down in. Twist it right in like that. First thing we'll do is reach under and force our hose back onto the bottle. Okay, so looking down in, you can see our hose is back on. Okay, so we'll tighten up our clamp. Once we're finished with a screwdriver, we'll go back in with a 8 millimeter socket and ratchet. Just make sure it's good and tight. And reconnect this hose. that clamp up, plug in our sensor lead. Okay. This bracket has to go in here, around. And into a couple slots. You just kind of push on the ears. Make their way in there. Okay, now we can start our other two bolts. One way down here. And this one here. Okay, I'm going to fast forward here. I'm going to tighten up that 10 millimeter bolt and then the two eight millimeter mounting bolts and you want to tighten these up firm they don't you don't want to over tighten them though okay we'll keep it going quick here just narrate a little bit lift up that access panel just carefully lower your battery down in make sure your wires are out of the way they don't get underneath or anything 
Okay, now take your mounting cushion, put the bolt through it, and start it in, and then tighten it up with your 13 millimeter socket ratchet and extension. Okay, now reconnect your battery, and you want to connect the positive battery cable first, and then make sure it's nice and tight with the wrench and then connect the negative and when you're connecting the negative you will probably get some sparks as the uh, cable touches the battery nothing to worry about they won't hurt you they're just uh, they just kinda are a little bit alarming sometimes but uh, tighten up that negative cable as well okay and now put the brace back in and uh, insert the f uh, five bolts and then tighten them up nice and snug and put the access panel down. I'm going to use a nice uh, clean funnel. It's got a screen in there to filter out fine particles. Okay, and I made sure I clean my pan before I put it, put it under the car. That funnel will filter out any dirt or anything and I can reuse my uh, fluid because it all still looked uh, nice and healthy. Okay, and then last but not least Make sure you put the radiator cap back on nice and tight. And then take that overflow tube and just make sure it's routed down the same way it was before. It just kind of routes down right to the ground. We hope this helps you out. Brought to you by www.1aauto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.